FCAT, test strategy, author and me. The answer is not on the page. Think about everything you have to read to figure out the best answer. The Art of Recycling An artist in Mexico makes tiny furniture from bottle caps. Another artist in Liberia cuts up old flip-flop sandals to create a toy helicopter. For hundreds of years, people around the world have made artwork and toys from trash. They still do. In some places, trash may be the only material that artists and toy makers can afford. Artists in the United States recycle too. John Kearney is a 74-year-old grandfather from Chicago, Illinois. He is also an artist who thinks junk is great for making art. He once made three giant dinosaur sculptures out of chrome car bumpers. He called them chromosaurs. One of them was 18 feet tall. Recycling can be a lot more than just tossing trash into a bin. A work of art can be beautiful, whether it's made with paint, clay, or even recycled trash. A crane lifts this chromosaur into place at the Dallas Museum of Natural History. FCAT. Now answer numbers one through four. Base your answers on the article, The Art of Recycling. One. What is the main idea of this story? A. There are many artists in Mexico. B. Art is always made from trash. C. Artists can use trash to make art and toys. D. Car bumpers make good toys. 2. What do the chromosaurs and the helicopter have in common? A. They are made from car parts. B. They are made from thrown away materials. C. They are tiny copies of big things. D. They are children's toys. 3. How did chromosaurs get their name? A. From the scientist who found them. B. From their big teeth. C. Because they are made of chrome. D. Because it sounded good. 4. How does John Kearney recycle? Use details and information from the article to support your answer. The Painting Parrot Grandpa and I went to the zoo to see a parrot that was supposed to be able to paint. I watched the bird smear green globs of paint on some paper. Anybody could do that, I said to Grandpa. Let's go see the gorillas. Suddenly, the parrot started painting really fast. It squawked, and I thought it sounded like, look, so I looked. The parrot had the paper in its beak. On it was a picture of a green gorilla. 
I guess that parrot can paint, and it can talk too.